My name is Maria Magda Schuster. I'm geographer by training and I am the co-chair of science policy interface of the United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification. So I did my research in Africa. I worked in Sudan on desertification, where I live with nomadic tribes, and I did research on desertification in Namibia, where I live together with community members in southern Namibia. And I see the issue of desertification uh, to be a major crisis in Africa. And this needs to be tackled in order to be able to move towards sustainable development. In order to do so, I think that policymakers need evidence, science-based evidence, to take the right decisions in moving or transforming their countries, the use of land in their countries towards uh, sustainable land management. I think this is one of the most important challenges which countries in Africa will face. Currently, we see a huge migration of people from rural areas to cities, partly also due to desertification, due to the scarcity of natural resources, such as grazing lands, productive soils, and water. These are lost due to overuse in communities uh, governments have to create an enabling environment which provides incentives to people, to farmers in rural areas to take care of their land. This is where we now need science. We don't only need natural science, we also need social sciences, we need the humanities, we need ethical uh, research to see how land planning can sustain sustainable man land management practices to give farmers tools that, pro uh, that enable them to um, restore degraded lands. And I think this will be, if such an enabling environment is provided by governing structures, this will really support farmers to stay on their lands. I think that science and research can provide very important evidence for such interconnectivity between la uh, rural and urban areas. It can provide options for sustainable development and it can package this information in a language that is accessible for decision-making processes at the policy level but also at the land user at the farmer level. Scientists cannot do this work on their own. They have to be interdisciplinary, which is clear, because this is an interdisciplinary arena we are now entering. But they also need to communicate and interlink with land users. This is the so-called participatory approach in research projects, which is becoming more and more popular. Scientists have to understand how farmers think, why they think in that manner, and farmers have to understand why scientists think the way they do. And then both scientists and farmers have to think and have to understand how policymakers think and vice versa.